Oh my god, what is that? Whoa! <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Temtem. My goodness, we are almost to the fortress. Windward Fort? I think that's what it's called. And we're uh, about done with Gifted Bridges, but we've got some more trainers to fight, as always. This is Alejandro. Another traveler. Safe travels, my friend. And welcome to the best spot in Gifted Bridges. Nice tall grass, close to the Temporian, where your tent and need to be patched up. You can even take a swim and cool off. The only thing I was missing was some action. And then you came along. Let's make it a perfect day. Yes, Alejandro. Quite. I do agree with that sentiment. You've got a cool necklace and an open shirt. And one of those freaking things. This was so difficult in the last episode. It resists basically everything. So, uh, all we can really do is our best. It's, it's going to be a difficult fight. It is level 20. So, I just don't know. It's probably going to KO something right off the bat. Half damage. Oh boy, Swadaloon, no. No! Oh my god, it does like nothing. Alright, Hypnosis then. I'm switching Swadaloon out of here. We're bringing in Gulai. Hopefully, uh, Crystal Dust can do a little bit of something, but... My god, he's level 20. It is definitely a good thing that I used the Tem Essence Vial before walking up to this guy. Because this is madness. And it has sleep immunity. Awesome. Super sweet, dude. So I guess we'll just keep uh, piddling away, doing the little damage that we can. Oh my god. It's gonna be a long day. <laughs> Gulai's down. Shit, man. He didn't even get to take a swing. He just got, like, sucker punched into the ground. My team is not ready for this. Mm-mm. Okay, Ebon. Uh, maybe we could do something with our amazing bird team. Amazing bird team! Go, go, go! Alright. My god. I just don't know what to do. <laughs> okay, fingers crossed. Just live. It actually does pretty good. Eat Log is able to live through it. He still doesn't do much damage back at the thing, but... I think we've got some bombs. We could probably heal up a little bit. Um, yeah, this is this is pretty ugly. I just don't know. I guess we'll go for Wind Burst and uh, Eat Log can have a rest. Build some of that stamina back up. Oh boy. Barnshee's also getting some rest, so good. Good. Fair's fair. Uh, Windblade and, well, um, well, Feather Gatling's basically gonna KO even. You know what? I don't care. Go for it. Do it. Just get the KO. Okay? Okay! Make it happen! Bleh. There. Gave everything I got. Literally everything. What did it cost? Everything. What? What kind of transition was that? Oh, an evolution transition. <laughs> transition. Sweet. That's what Swadloon evolves into. Okay. Interesting. So, uh, I guess learn Windblade. Yeah, that's cool. Now I've got so many wind Pokemon. Or air Pokemon. What do you call it? I think it's wind. Congratulations, Traveler. This battle is yours. And de deservedly so. Why does he look so sad? Did he have that face when we started the match? I think he's just a tired dad. <laughs> An interesting battle, my friend. I'll take a rest before I head to the Temporium. Yes, I need to head to the Temporium right now. Like, right, right now. Sweet. Alright. I could also uh, do, like, a little bit of Swip Swap, but... What's the point? What's the point? Maybe I should put Pinky back on the team because my wife will be mad if she finds out that I, I took him off. I don't even know why I took him off, honestly. That poison is pretty nice. Oh, uh, how can I help you? Yeah, yeah. Quit your, quit your, your gabbing, your belly aching. Give me some stuff. Do we need bombs or bomb plus? Probably bomb plus about this time. 
We can't afford that many of them, though. Good lord. Okay, forget it. I don't have the balls. I gotta go. Uh, we should we should also take a little gander in the grass over there and see if we might find anything interesting. See, like that dude, he's running around with his side pat. Maybe I could find a side pat. Ooh, that would be fun. Nope, it's piggy picks. Everywhere you go, it's piggy picks. Right, just get me out of here. Dayton does runs away, and they're only level ten in this grass, so I don't really want to take the time out to level them. At least, not currently. So, we are doing pretty good. I think we're almost to Windward Fort, just around this corner. You shall not pass! What? <laughs> I always wanted to stand dramatically on a bridge and say that. Gabriel the Grey. Well, I shall cut him down. Turn him into Gabriel the White. Yes. Oh my god, look at that giant thing. That giant, disgusting squid creature. Okay. We'll go for Windblade and uh, Windblade. No, Orishio's good. I think it'll do double damage, if I remember correctly. Ooh, God, that water cannon, though. It's terrible. That is horrifying. Where'd you get these, these Temtems? And water blade and poison damage. Eat lug is almost down. We we just went to the Temporium, bro. Why are you gonna do this? I guess go for wind blade. I don't think he's fast enough though. Ah crap. Ah crap. We'll see. Oh yeah. That's pain. That's pain. Hmm. I feel it. Damage itself due to overexertion. Good. Excellent. Catch that KO. And I think my boy's not gonna make it. Yep. Aqua Stone. Well, that's a shame. At least Swadloon gets some EXP, I guess, but some of that EXP was wasted. It just fell on the ground. Oh. At least we're super near the Temporium. I could just head back and be like, okay. Heal me up again. Heal me up again, Daddy. I want to try again. Crystal Dust. It does okay. Rishio. It's not super effective. Damn. Calibus, get some rest. Thank goodness. Okay, let's try Windblade then. I don't think that's going to be super effective either, but... Whatever. Whatever. I think it will get the KO, though. He did. He had a little sliver left, and it was super effective. Damn, I need to remember this stuff. Toxic spores. Yes. Get rid of tenderness. Cool. At least I know what those moves do. <laughs> Back to the abyss. Yep, yep. For you. Not me. Fire, fool. Okay. I'll, I'll see you later. I'll see you later. Bye. Nice talking to you. Hey, e logs back in the front. But not for long. Actually, yeah, for long. <laughs> well, let's put Bumblebug. Bumblebug and E-Log. Best of friends forever. And Swadloon surprisingly has taken the lead. As one of my uh, highest level Pokemon. I didn't expect that. Hey, you. Look at that. Windward Fortress. Who knows how old this thing is. I hear it can be uh, pretty dangerous to uh... Windward Fort. Right there. First time I saw it as a kid, it spooked the heck out of me. I was only seven, but I could sense something creepy about the place. There's something creepy about you, bro. And now, now, I can feel it too, stranger. Beware of Windward Fort. What's inside? Well, Tim Tim, wicked people, the ghosts of old kings, who knows? It's not a place one enters idly. Tread carefully. I'm here to fight, not talk. Fair enough. Why do you talk like that? <laughs> I bet he's got some creepy Pokemon. Oh no, terrifying birds that I've seen a hundred times before. I'm shocked, appalled, amazed, etc. Alright, we're gonna gangbang this one on the left first. 
I shouldn't have gone for Windblade, but oh well. That's fine. Half damage all around. Congratulations, folks. Nobody can do anything except for uh, Bumblebug. Bumblebug is gonna just win the day. Wreck everything. Here they come to wreck the day! Huzzah! A knockout. Oh, he's he's hypnosising me? I was gonna hip hypnosis you, bro! Oh, but my Pokemon has caffeinated? He is also caffeinated. So I guess the ability changed from when he was a baby bird and he grew up. Whatever. Here's a weird thing. It's that wimp, whip, whip lump. Whip lump, more like wimp lump, right? <laughs> Got him. Eat log, take a rest. Cheer up, what is that? What is that? Answer me! <laughs> I guess my, my dude will learn it eventually. Alright, go for DC Beam, we'll go for Peck on Whiplump. And everybody's gonna get the KO. It's gonna be super cool. Yah! Dead. Or maybe not dead. Fainted. Knocked out. Yeah, they don't say fainted, they say knocked out. There's so many similarity, similarities. Lift the spirit of the target and give them one hold. One hold? What is one hold? I guess I'm gonna get rid of Windblade just to try out Cheer Up. I'm not sure what hold is though. That seems really weird. Okay, uh, Cheer Up my ally there. Hey! Wasn't affected. Okay, sweet. Super. Glad to hear it. What the fuck? I might have just regretted uh, getting getting cheer up. Oh boy, a mistake was made. I can't believe I made that mistake. Okay, you got a lot of money though. We can fight again if you want. You're a little creepy, but that's fine. You are a competent Temtem trainer. Perhaps you can handle yourself and win what for it after all. But whatever happens aside, remember, I warned you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I feel safer inside than out here with you. Gulai and Squirrel, get in the front. Catch that 14th level, please and thank you. Hooray, Windward Fort, you guys. Ruins of an ancient greatness. Oh my god, what is that? Whoa! <laughs> that thing's so cool. I think this guy's like just running around in here like, hey, look at my, look at my Temtem. Let's, let's fight. Let's have a battle. Let's see what we get ourselves into. Here they come again! Wait, where are my Tim cards? Uh, who? Who? What are you talking about? What is anything anymore? Crystal. Yeah, I got one of them. His is slightly different color, or maybe it's just because of the, the cave. Yeah, it's a bit darker in the cave. That's why. All right. Go for it. Crystal Dust. It's not powered up because I'm not teamed up with a Wind Temtem. But that's okay. He's level 18. Head Ram. Ooh! It's okay. We can live through a couple of those. Let's go for Crystal Dust. It's my favorite move. <laughs> it's my favorite drug. It's Crystal Dust. You want some Crystal Dust? I want some Crystal Dust. Crystallize. Defense up? Probably. Oh, defense up twice, and also speed down, and also overexertion. So, Tail Strike, haha! -ha. Oh, Sand Splatter is super effective against the Crystal ones, that's right. I forgot all about that. Thank God, Sand Splatter finally has a fucking use! It's like, been the worst move for the longest time. Hooray, Squirrel! I'll defend myself! Oh, okay. Officer, I only shot him in the leg. It was below the knee. Oh, you won't... You're not one of them? Who is them? The strangers in uniforms. They barge in here like angry scale, trashing the place and kicking everyone aside. What are they looking for? I'm not sure, but I overheard one of them talking to her ladyship and assuring her that they were looking in every nook and cranny, so they must be looking for something in these ruins. 
Please, if you come across them, be very careful. They don't play by the rules, and their temtem are vicious. If they win, they just throw them at you like wild beasts. Well, if they throw their temtem at me, I shall proceed to catch them. Yes, indeed. There's a... A stairway over there that that dude just climbed up from. Oh, and we've got just wild temtem in the cave. Is it a Zubat? Nope. It's a scale. Hi, scale. I gotta run because I know you have an earth type attack and it's gonna fuck up Gulai. <laughs> so let's go. Fails both attempts to run away. Bro, you didn't even try. I swear you didn't even try. Swear. Swear, bro. Alright. I guess we can take uh, Gulai out of the front if that's gonna be the wild Pokemon that's around. Or Temtem. <laughs> Not Pokemon. Give me this. What is this? I should have bought some healing items. Here's a revive. That's nice. Hmm. I need to find a way to get across these gaps and ledges. Silicone fragment. High demand in Sipanku can be sold at a good price. Okay, good. We're supposed to go to Sipanku for a comic book or something like that? If I remember correctly? Two scale. Okay. Could you give me like some some rare spawns or something like that? I'd really appreciate that. Thank you so much. They're level 11 and 12. I might have to do some some grinding in this cave though, in order to progress the story a bit further. But that's no problem. I do enjoy a bit of a grind every once in a while. Yes. Hmm. What's this? A scale. Guess who? It's me again. Okay, great. Hi. Nice nice to see you. How's it been? It's been a while, you know? How's your family? Probably does have a little rodent family in a hole in the wall somewhere. But I won't judge him for that. Oh, there's the guys in uniform. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Make me a little bit nervous. Immediately. Do I have a bomb? Yeah, go ahead. A bomb for you, and let's fight! Let's fucking do it! I use that one. You, what are you doing here? Uh, what are you doing here? <laughs> you don't get to ask questions. We do. Stand aside or else. Who do you think you are? We're the last thing you're gonna see before the lights go out, peasant. Let's dance. Ooh! They're scrappy. They're gung-ho. I like them. And there's a black one and a white one. And it's extra a special because they're best friends. Um, I guess I'm just going to scratch things or, or drop some poison. God, they are kind of powerful. Kind of scare me. I'm going to go for the one on the left first. And hope that that's the right choice. The Calibus looks scary, but uh, the Whip Lump, I'm not going to let it fool me. You see, you see, you got to take out the, the little ones first, and then the bigger ones will be easy to, to deal with. Windblade? I think that was super effective against Calibus, wasn't it? Eurecial is good for Whiplump? Yeah, it is. Fail strike. Yum. Got him, coach. Get that scavenger and hopefully I'll live. Oh, he goes for Swadloon instead. Well enough. Paharak, get ready. Well, it looks much more menacing in the cave, doesn't it? I'm gonna switch Squirrel out of here. We'll go to, I guess, Bumblebug? Oh man, he's kinda low on health. Everybody's looking a little shit. That's all right. We got the Windblade ready. We got the Windblade in reserve. So who, who are these guys? This is like, you know, Team Rocket or something? They didn't tell me their names. Aquastone. Oh no! Half damage. <laughs> Knocked itself out due to overexertion. Oh, it's good. Oh, it is good. I'm liking that. And then they just have two stinky birds. A couple of stinky birds. DC beam, bruh. DC beam all day. I didn't check my stamina, but I think I'm going to be fine for at least that attack. Oh, and those things are only level 10, so... Ha! They front-loaded their team pretty hard. 
like, see if you can get through these two big guys. And it's like, okay, I got through the two big guys. And they're like, oh crap. Now what do we do? Bend over. Bend over, baby boy. There's the KO. Some. I love my bugs. I'm not particularly partial to the uh, the bird pokes, but I love I love the wind or the bug temtems. I might fall, but Clan Belsoto prevails. Oh, Bo Belsoto. That's a a smooth name. I keep getting notifications on my phone. Got to turn that down. Oh, Clan Belsoto, you just don't know what you're in for, do you? No, indeed. Wait till her ladyship hears about this. Yeah, I'll tell her myself. I don't give a shit. You run upstairs to tell her. What the? Yeah, hi. It's me. Hooray. Hooray. Alrighty. Are we ready to rock and roll with your two annoying ass Pokemon? Ah. It's not gonna be pretty. I'm basically gonna hate this. Feather Gatling? I don't think it matters. It doesn't matter. We'll just double up on the pack and see how it goes. Uh, 3% damage. <laughs> oh, that's 6%. That's great. We're doing awesome. Hooray for us. At least they're doing half damage as well, but my god. Oh no, they have the, the resisting sleep ability. I'm not gonna fall for that. Alright, shrill voice, I guess. That's okay, right? Yeah. I got plenty of stamina for that. Oh my god, they're so tough! I need to figure out what the weaknesses of these things are if I'm going to keep coming up against them in like every single fight. My god! I hate! <laughs> it is so awful. All right, let's 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 get the swip swap. Swadloon, get out here. Um, cheese man. Cheese crackers. Gotta keep pushing. Gotta get the damage on him. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do the thing. All right, that's not bad. Wind burst, also not too bad. But we are walking a fine line. These things basically KO themselves due to overexertion. That's that's it. All right, I'm gonna rest up Ebon if he even lives. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Fart. This is really bad. At least that did neutral damage. I guess I'll be happy about that. Squirrel, get ready to do a thing. Please and thank you. Reshill here and scratch, I guess. Yeah, whatever. Scratch is fine. Their wind blade seems to do nothing, so I'm grateful. My goodness. Scratch does have damage. What is up with these things? What even are these things? Ah, uh, I'm so tempted to just like look up a type chart and see what is weak and what is strong and all this other stuff, but not that desperate. I'll, I'll keep pushing on through. It's gonna be all right. Yeet, yeet! Um, this should be the, uh, the final KO. Yeah! Got him, coach! Terrifying. Security breach! Send reinforcements! Heh <laughs> Too late. I'm in your house. I'm in your house now. Security breach! Yeah, this, I heard what she said. That's fine. That's fine. It's just me. It's just me, guys. Hey, everybody. Yeah, we both have the same uh, dude. Why are they battling? Oh, wild. Wild battle. Hopefully, I don't get my ass kicked right here. No unauthorized locals. Who are you? And what are you doing here? Explain yourself. I have new orders from the boss. Huh? Which ones? Give me all your Temtem. -tem. We'll see about that. Oh, you know it was fake. Ho oh, oh. ho! You got me! You got me! At least, uh... They don't have the 
the Barnshee. That's what it's called. It's a barn owl banshee, and it's it's horrible and terrifying, and I hate it. Let's go for Helldanger on Swally, DC Beam on Umishi, and that should be good. They're only level ten. We're gonna we're gonna do fantastic things here today. Ooh, they split the damage. I can only be grateful for that. Um, I guess Scratch or DC Beam or somebody KO something so Squirrel can get some health back. Please and thank you. There we go. Yum! Uh-oh. Bumblebug. Well, I guess that's a bit of health back for Squirrel, but Bumblebug is super useful because of that type coverage. Oh, well. We'll, we'll send an Eat Log. Eat Log, get ready. He's always ready. Ready for combat. Pick a pick. Oh, it's ugly. I hate it. Held anger. We can't hypnosis? Dang. That's too bad. I guess I'll go for wind burst. No, it's not gonna work. We gotta swap. Held anger on Piggy Pig, wind burst on Swally. That'll work. That's better. Didn't quite KO. That's a shame. At least it's not like trying to poison me. That's something to be grateful for. Uh, held anger again? I guess he doesn't have enough anger held yet. Peck. Peck and get the KO. There you go. Proud of you. Squirrel's just like recovering all his health. That's awesome. There's the held anger. I guess it's kind of like counter. You have to get hit for it to go off or something like that. I don't think he even got hit. I don't know how it works. I don't know how anything works anymore. All right, let's uh, we'll double up on the piggy pick, I guess. That should do well, shouldn't it? Oh, that was a mistake. Well, whatever. Still gonna get the KO. Yum. And then I just have this this pinky left. And he's gonna poison everything. At least he poisoned the dude that has plenty of health to give. Squirrel, you're growing up so fast, little buddy. Having an overlevel team decreases experience gain from battles. Okay, that's not my fault, dude. You're the one sending level 10 dudes after me. What is this even? Alright, hypnosis. Yeah, scratch first, and then hypnosis. Oh, no, no, no. He's faster than Eat Log. Oh. But Squirrel gets that scavenger trigger. Yeah, boy! Gulai, your turn. Eat this level 10 up. Crystal Dust. I don't even know why I have Grass Blade. All I use is Crystal Dust. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's, I, I like it. Oh, yeah. And it is a KO. It was very close to not being a KO. That, that uh, health bar started to slow down near the end. I'm like, is it? Damn you. You'll regret this intruder. I won't. I guarantee you I won't. I'm not even going to regret it a little bit. Temessence, go! Yay! Everybody's alive again! <laughs> I really like that. That's super cool. Gulai gotta go in the front. He's my starter. Gotta keep him leveled. You were good, this intruder. Yeah, so so I heard. So you said. Yay! Peyton Fuller, can I also share this box with you? Some revives. Oh, what's this? There's a guy named Eviler in here. Whoa! Again, I know nothing about... Oh, it's you, Dayton Does! Finally, some luck! What are you doing here? I... I was relaxing here after doing some surfing, and then this woman appears with a whole entourage of minions, asking weird questions about some hidden treasure. Then all of a sudden, they all ganged up on me and threw me in this cell here. I heard her minions call her Lady Lottie. I have no idea who she is, but this is intolerable. She must be somewhere on the upper floors. She has her people searching the whole Windward Fort for that treasure she keeps going on about. <laughs> she must have the key to this cage. You have to obtain it somehow and get me out of here. And careful with that Lady Lottie. She knows her Temtem very well. 
Well, okay. Bunch of people on surfboards in here. Is this where I get a surfboard? Please don't just stand there, Dayton does. Find Lady Lottie and get me out of this hole. My pupils at the dojo must be getting worried. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure they are. I guess I just follow the path. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. Ah, oh, you're, you're... No, I'm not one of them. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Sorry, I've been hiding here in the dark for too long. Are they gone? Uh, they're still around. I'd better stay well hidden th here then. I don't know who they are, and honestly, I don't care. I just want to be left alone. One second I'm admiring this architectural marvel, the next I have to run from those vandals. I'm fighting them. You're either brave or deluded, or both. That's probably more like it, but good luck anyways. These people give visitors a bad name. Wait, before you go, would you care for a spot of temtemming? I could use a distraction while I wait it out. My nerves are frayed. <laughs> really? A fight? Here and now? What's so bizarre about it? It's not like I have a cup of tea after all. A relaxing temtem battle is the next best thing for winding down. Alright, bro. It's your funeral. <laughs> this frightened tourist will probably be our last fight. So that's okay. I'm alright with that. And he's only got one Pokemon, and it is Smazzy. Snazzy Smazzy. Let's see what you can do. Can you live through this? Uppercut. Ooh, double damage on Gulai. That's sad. Hmm. Well, I'm not gonna let that happen again. Let's go into Swadloon. My buggy team will take care of this. Let's see how Windblade does against it. Because DC Beam didn't seem to do super effective damage. Go, Bugs, go! Ooh, it still hurts. That thing is pretty cool. I'd like one for my team. But it is like a starter, so I don't think that it's available. Or maybe it is. They said where you get the starters from, so... I could be wrong about that. Anyways, here comes another uppercut. Live! Doesn't live. I guess that's alright. You've done well for yourself. Mm. Yeah, I guess I guess Gulai can come back out and soak up the EXP, right? Yeah, Bumblebug's like pretty fast. You gonna you gonna get it done, all right? Let's just pretend we're gonna use a move. And zap, and you're dead. Sweet. Ooh wee. We got some some tough stuff in here or at least new stuff stuff that I don't know how to deal with quite yet that was fun and now it's back to waiting in the dark <laughs> and you broke and you broke too dang shh don't linger around please you'll give away my position oh the battling didn't do that right anyways friends I hope that you've enjoyed I hope you like comment and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode that would be much appreciated We'll continue on through the Windward Fort in the next episode. And find Lady Lottie and free Sophia and do all the things. Uh, don't forget to check out the links in the description to Twitter, Discord, Patreon. I would be quite grateful if you would do any of those. Big shout out to Nico the Legend for supporting us on the Patreon currently. Always, always appreciated. My most stalwart ally. Anyways, friends, once again, this has been Temtem. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I shall see you in the next one. And until then, friends... Bye-bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.